Hi, it's Allie Get here and welcome back to the channel. Today we're doing something a little different. Uh, we're actually reviewing my first ever shell challenge in The Sims. So we actually participated in the Spark Something Shell Challenge hosted by The Sims. And I thought we could review and see what we came up with. If you're interested in watching the VOD, down in the description is the link to the VOD channel. As well as you can find it over on twitch.tv slash alleycat3224. This is also your reminder to like and subscribe and let's get on to the build. So the Spark Something Shell Challenge is actually a plum bob shaped build and my initial thought was actually to build a library. I actually built this one in one sitting at about 9 or 10 at night until about 1 in the morning after a day of classes so just remember that. I'm warning you now, I hop around the lot a lot. So after a few wall modifications I made I decided to start with something that wouldn't be too hard, a little kid area. Since it is the library, I wanted to make sure that there was something for everyone, including the kids, and I thought it would be a great place to start and use that awkward corner space. I also wanted the lot to have a pretty cozy atmosphere, so I made sure to try to incorporate that. I also got the chance to use those false bookshelves to lead into a realm of magic secret library, which we will see a bit later. Trying to incorporate the large bookshelves was actually kind of difficult while also trying to incorporate that natural light, which actually ended up working out really well. And I also got to include some posters and even a plum bob painting. Had to bring it back in there. <laughs> I'm not sure about you, but when I was younger and went to the library, there was always a desk to check out some books with the librarian. So I wanted to make sure I included that here as well to fill in some more space. This is also about the time I decided I needed to get some light in here, and after many choices, I finally found a, a light that I liked. This is when I tried to start the Secret Realm of Magic library, and my brain was turning to mush, uh, trying to use the space, so I just plonked some stuff down and decided that would be something to tackle later. I did want to have a private outdoor area for the activities, though, so I got some general stuff laid out and moved along to the top floor. Picking a fence that would go with my theming was actually kind of hard, but I found one and went with it, and even some pillars to match in the corner. This is also where I decided I did not want to work on the internalish part of the house anymore, so I was going to do some external work, including the front patio. With the angled door, I tried to think of something that was functional in both directions the stairs would have to go, because the stairs cannot go on a diagonal, which is unfortunate. But I ended up working out on the end by using the outdoor patio. I'm actually not much of a builder, only tackling my first entire lot build on my Twitch Legacy Challenge I'm doing, which I haven't even gotten to the outdoor portion of yet, so really finding plants and flowers that would look nice was a bit of a struggle, but I absolutely love how it turned out. Here is where I realized I should make the lot type to see the requirements. You can see me hopping around quite a bit, putting random library pieces around that I found so I could use more space. This is also when I realized I needed more desks. <laughs> I struggled to fit them on the first floor and decided that was what I was going to use the upstairs open air space for. I know it's not the most conventional place for desks and computers as it's outside, but hey, it's The Sims, and I know I love to study outside. I also decided to add some hobby stuff so there's something for all The Sims, painting, plants, and even a telescope. One of my favorite plants is actually the succulent wall pieces, and I kind of incorporate them wherever I can, if it makes sense. And that's actually what I used to make that border between the secret magic garden and the outdoor study. Lighting was a bit of a challenge, but I knew I wanted to use the string lights. Unfortunately, they did not always have the right lengths, and I tried messing with the colors, which was interesting. Remembering I needed to do the bathroom, I hopped down into a small space and tried to fill it out the best I could and hope it's functional. Looking back towards the outside, I decided on placing an observatory to fill in space in the corner, and then worked on pathing everything out. I also continued to work on the outside, now adding more trees and flowers and some much needed lighting. The next thing I thought we needed was a statue out front, so I placed a founder statue and decorated it all nice and welcoming. With only a few things left in my list to do, I decided to keep the outdoor momentum going and shift gears to the magic garden, adding rocks and flowers, a light, and all of the things that I could try to make sense of that should be there. In finishing that, it was finally time to take on the magic library. With the two small corners, I just decided to put some seating and lights as well as tucking another bookshelf to make it seem more library-esque. Continued with adding some more main floor windows and continuing with the flower border on the left side of the build. This is when I began brainstorming what to do with the space here and I thought I could put some cozy little picnic setups, as well as some trees for shade and even a lovely little sunflower garden.
finally wrapping up the build by adding an official sign in the front of the lot. With that being said, let's hop into the game and take a tour. Okay, so I actually picked this 30 by 20 lot here to do it, and I also picked the traits University Student Hangout, because it is a library, of course a study spot, and then good schools, um, as that would kind of make sense. <laughs> so actually loading in the build, let's go ahead and get our, our full view here. I think it's pretty cute and cozy. I think my favorite is actually when it is night. Just how everything glows. I think that it's so pretty. But going in the front, we see we have a little patio area here. Nothing too intense. We, of course, have our statue that we mentioned in our sign. Nothing too crazy. And continuing at the back, we actually have our, our little walkway here. Here's our observatory. And even just a, a little tree space back here. Lots of greenery. So we go in the front doors and we are welcomed with a front desk and a globe. Here's that little kid's area that came along. I really think that it came together really well with the different colors. Working our way this way, we can see the cozy little book space, including even some of our tall bookshelves and, and our good old plum bob. <laughs> and then here's those secret doors that I talked about into the magic layer. I know the magic layer isn't too much, but it was kind of an awkward space to fit it into, but I think that it turned out really nice. Um, including its very own secret garden with the big old cauldron. Um... I think it turned out way better with all the struggles that I was having. I think it actually turned out pretty solid. Um, this is also the bathroom. I struggled a little bit with trying to use this space. I'm not sure if it's usable. I actually haven't tested it yet. Um, I'm hoping it is. I'm hoping it's fine. But I think we were able to fill that space pretty okay. Uh, and of course, we have our little uh, book trolleys and even a magazine rack. I always know when I was younger... I saw magazine racks at ours. We actually had a CD rack as well at, at my uh, public library that I used to go to when I was little. Um, on the left side, uh, this is actually where we have the cute little picnic setups. And I use these from the, from the spa day pack, I believe. Uh, just cute, little space to read the books. Here's our little sunflower garden that I was mentioning. Super bright and colorful. This back space is actually one of my favorites because we kind of just uh, filled it with a bunch of random stuff but still making it bright and beautiful. So then moving to the upstairs. Here's that succulent wall that I was talking about. I absolutely love succulent walls. I don't know why, I just do. Um, and then we have all of our chess boards here. This is also one of my favorite chess sets. I got it as a gift from uh, Father Winter in one of my other uh, Sims worlds. And uh, <laughs> it has been my favorite ever since. Um, what is this? Oh, that's part of the bookshelf. Oops. Oh, well. <laughs> um, but then... I had these desks put in. I actually love the use of the different colored chairs. It brings that brightness back. But also the little wicker rugs. Because I was like, okay, computers are not the most functional. And really, like, this type of wood isn't that functional outside. But wicker rugs, good for outside. At least in my opinion. They're a lot easier to take care of than fabric rugs. Um, but then we have our little paint, paint, painter area. Uh, I think it's so cute. Um, a little potted plant area, you can grow some crops, <laughs> and our telescope. This build isn't too intense. I think I ended up spending exactly four hours on it, pretty much, like, just along those lines. I think there are definitely some things I could have done better, um, but this is my, like I said before, this is my first full lot build, so it was really just getting used to using this much space um but i do think it overall turned out really well and i'm actually super happy with it with our first shell challenge no results have come of it i believe uh so we're still waiting to hear on that but even if i don't win this is such a great experience and i look forward to doing more shell challenges in the future 
Okay, but that's going to conclude today's video. I really hoped you enjoyed watching this as much as I enjoyed making it. And yeah, thank you guys for hanging out. Thanks for all the support, and thanks for watching, and I will see you guys next time. Goodbye!